Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about one of the interview question. Okay, so this question we ask some of the uh, interviews they asked. Okay, so the question is like, uh, what is two-way data binding in LWC? Okay, so a simple concept is what is two-way binding? That is the concept. This concept most of the people used in the project are somewhere they used. Okay, and the testing purpose also they used, but they don't know this is the data uh, two-way data binding. Okay. Um, so it is very simple only. I will explain it is theoretical and uh, example. Okay, um, it is used to exchange data from controller to the form template. Okay, controller to form template and form template to the controller. Here the controller is the JS file. Okay, in the LWC we have two files mainly. Uh, first one is HTML and second one is the JS file. Okay, JS is the controller and form template is the HTML file. Okay, so we can able to exchange the data from uh, JS file to HTML file and HTML file to JS file. Okay, it will help user to establish a communication by direct Okay, so this is called a two-way data binding. So one of the most important concept. Okay, so note before Spring 20 to make your field is reactive. Okay, uh, reactive means you need you had to declare with the, it with a track. Okay. If you, are, uh, if you are going to declare one variable, then we need to declare the variable with add track annotation. But now we now need to declare add track annotation. Okay, default now it will be support. Okay, so uh, now I'm explaining with the practical. I'm, okay, I, I opened my Visual Studio. I'm going to create one component. Okay, create LWC uh, control shift to P. After that, click um, create new LWC component. Here I am going to give two way data, two way data binding. And so, location tasking, you can give anything. Okay, so you can see it. I have created a new LWC component. Now I'm going to create one um, lightning card. I'm going to create. Okay, so it will take some time. So I will use my code here. Okay, so now I created one lightning card I have created. So the heading is like a two-way data binding demo. And I can, if we, it can it can be anything, you can give anything, okay? Now I'm going to create one um, input field I'm going to create. So this is the input field I'm going to create. Okay, so the input field, this one. So here you can see it div I have created. In the div I'm giving the our SLDSP, our own medium I have given. After that, the input component, uh, input component I have given type is text name is full name so if you need you can give otherwise not required and label so name is not required if you, you can remove it so label I have given like enter your name okay on key up okay on key up I um, I have called I'm going to call one method on change handler event okay in this uh, on key up i'm calling one method in the js file after that value is full name so full name here what we need to do we need to declare one variable full name equal to something so what i can give i can give like a default value salesforce crocs i can give so this is the reactive basically. Okay, so the before spring, I told right, this has, uh, before spring 20, we need to declare as the add track annotation. So for example, you are, you are going to, de this one you declare means add track, this annotation we need to use. Here you can see that track is annotated, but before spring 20 release, but now this is, we no need to declare this one, okay? So now the Salesforce default, it, it is a, uh, LWC on default, it is a reactive properties only. 
So now I have created the full name and uh, on handler and after that what i am going to create full name also i have declared here you can see it full name declare now i can this dot full name equal to sorry i can give even dot target target dot value so you know, I'm setting the event targeted value, I'm setting into the full name field. So I can verify that uh, event target dot values. So name title. So we have declared this one event dot target dot name we have given. Okay. And one more thing is like this is on key up. I have done it now. I'm going to do it in the on change. Okay, this is like yeah, instead of the on key up, on change. I'm going to use another one method. On change, I'm what method I can on change handler. I have created one more method. Event full name. And maybe we can give title. Title equal to. To we find it. Okay, so here what we need to do this dot it will equal to same thing even dot target dot value okay so after that uh, what we can do we can print that value here after print bs so i'm going to print um like yeah okay. result yes here you can see it SLD is medium. My name is full name. Okay, for example, this one. I should use this one and my title. And my title, this. Okay, I have printed that very simply. Let's see it. So we have created the two input field. First one is the first one is the like uh, on key of uh, method values full name variable i have set so here value we need to set this is a title we need to set so we missed that so we need to set this one so what are the values we are entering we are displaying here okay so what is happening here what are the data we are entering that will be go to controller from the controller we are y directionally we are displaying into the um give a html file so this is called the two-way data binding okay so i'm going to push this component to my r let's see it true okay once again i'm going to copy this paste here that's it two-way data binding I'm going to push this. Sorry, I'm going to deploy this. So now we, we can see the common disk applied to the R. Now we can go to my R and I will refresh it. So actually I'm having some R issue, so it's not loading. Okay, I'm trying. Sometimes it's not loading. 
this is the concept basically like uh, uh, if you enter that this is the input field if you enter that input value it will be go and stored in the full name this handler handler will call and this variable will be get the current value and we are displaying in the full name here okay so this is the way from two way binary if you have html to js and js to html so this is the two way data binding concept okay you guys can try in your r and let me know if you have any issues i will help you uh, please comment if you have anything to discuss on that okay thank you thanks for watching